This is the angle measurement tutorial. An angle is formed at the origin of two diverging rays, and the vertex is the point at which the two rays that form an angle meet. So let me show you the three types of angles that we'll be dealing with in geometry. They are acute, right, and obtuse angles. Now the vertex that we're referring to is this point right here on these angles the point at which the two rays that form that angle meet. Right there, that little dot on each of those is the meeting place of those two diverging rays. So let's talk a little bit about the acute angle. An acute angle is any angle whose measure is less than 90 degrees. And a right angle is an angle whose measure is exactly 90 degrees. Lastly, the obtuse angle is an angle whose measure is greater than 90 degrees. And when we say their measure, what we're referring to is the distance right here. We measure that in degrees. So this measurement right here and this measurement right here. A right angle is straight up and down, like here, and it's 90 degrees, oftentimes denoted by a little square right here. So you can see that the obtuse is actually wider than that right angle, because its angle has a measure that's greater than 90 degrees. And the acute angle is actually more narrow than a right angle, because its measure is less than 90 degrees. Now that you know what the three types of angles look like in geometry, Let's talk about congruent angles. Congruent angles are two angles that have exactly the same measurement. Now, technically, you could have more than two angles, but to be congruent, you have to have at least two angles that have exactly the same measurement. So, for example, these two angles that I've drawn in on the lower right, if this measurement for this angle was 42 degrees, and this angle was congruent with this angle here, then the measure of this angle would have to also be 42 degrees. And you could say it in a couple ways. If this had a measurement of 2x, then this angle had a measurement of 2x. Because they're congruent, they have exactly the same measurement. The next thing we want to talk about is the angle bisector. An angle bisector is a ray that cuts an angle into two angles of equal measure. So, in this example, we had this original angle. Let's say the original angle was this whole measurement. And it had a measurement of 140 degrees. Well, if this ray right here were the angle bisector, it would be cutting it into two congruent halves each of those congruent angles would now have a measurement of 70 degrees, exactly one half the original angle. Now what if the original angle were something like 4x? So it had an original measurement of 4x degrees. Well, if this blue ray again was an angle bisector, that would cut that into two congruent halves again, one being 2x degrees and the other being 2x degrees. Another way that you might see this problem in books is if someone were to tell you that this angle had a measurement of 70 degrees and this angle had a measurement of 10x degrees and then they were to tell you that this ray right in the middle were the angle bisector. Well, you would know that that ray is dividing those two angles into two congruent halves, meaning that they're exactly equal to each other. So you could set 70 equal to 10x and solve for x. And you'd get x is equal to 7. And you'd plug that back in and find out that 10x is also 70 degrees. And that is true, that statement. Now the last thing that I want to leave you with, in terms of angles and angle measurement, is to discuss the interior and exterior of an angle. 
On any angle, the interior is the space in between the two rays that form that angle. So on this angle, that's roughly the green shaded region right here. And the exterior is the outside of that angle. So in this case, if there were another line running this way, we would say that this would be the exterior, this gray shaded region.